Thank you for joining me on my learning journey. Today I'm going to be sharing my learnings on how to, on, on just some strategies on how to win in the tournament for your Queens and Guards event. So, you know, whether or not you like chess, chances are you're going to love Queens and Guards because, you know, Queens and Guards it is it's just awesome. But I will say that Queens and Guards has certain traits about it that reminds me of chess. Like, for example, in chess, your, your, your strategy, what is it usually? You have to keep thinking about what the opponent might do next so that you can plan your defensive strategy, right? And it's a similar thing with Queens and Guards as well. Think about what the what your opponent might do next and block the spaces accordingly. So block spaces when you can. And one way that I suggest moving your moving your pieces forward is don't move the queen in all the way. Now I know that sounds weird, but at first keep it here so it can still move around, right? Because the minute you push it in, there's no going back, right? And someone can easily kick it out like that. You have nowhere to move if you see that they're about to trap the queen. And another strategy to have is to bring, when you push the queen in, make sure it has a three to four crown. I call it a crown. It is just a little barrier so that even if someone comes in here, you can move that there and boom, you're stopping them from trapping your queen now. Another thing is I've, when I first played this, I used to give up the minute someone even got one of the chips in. I'd be like, you know what, that's it. But you know what? Never give up at that. Instead, try to kick out their chips and try to get the position back. Another strategy is at the very beginning to attack the opponent's queen. So here's what I mean. Let's say you have just started the game and let's say you're blue. One thing you can do is create what I call your electric barrier right there and right at the very beginning. Now, can they still get out? Yeah, they can. But try to make it so that you're blocking the queen at the very beginning and try to block the different spots as well. Another strategy is let's say you have your queen in the center, but you see that blue has managed to get their crown on your queen. You don't want that. So you do a strategy that I like to call coming around the mountain. And you trap. Then you come around here and you trap them again. Then you come around here and you trap them again. And you move them out. Now there are all sorts of strategies when it comes to queens and guards and I could I could go over all of them but really it's just based on that moment. So in terms of strategy when it comes to queens and guards, I give you these three things, right? Number one, think offensive and defensive. I know this sounds crazy but you've got to protect certain electrical barriers, right? If it's a crucial electrical bar barrier that's stopping them from getting in and you're not really close to 
your position, it's not like those two are the last ones you need to win, then make sure that you're not moving that. Another thing is don't give up on the game. Even if it goes back and forth between you and your opponent, don't give up. Because just because they've gotten a couple of guards in doesn't mean that they've won the game yet. So it's not over until it's over. The next one is give yourself time and think about what the opponent could do next and what you should do in response to that, as well as how you can win the game. All right, so that's it for this learning. Thank you for joining me. I'll really appreciate it if you leave your comments, feedback, and further suggestions for additional learnings below. I'll see you in the next video.